This tutorial will show you how to use the Publish Logs feature of GSAC version 8 to help reduce the time needed when logging a large amount of logs to geocaching.com. This tutorial assumes you have a working knowledge of GSAC, a geocaching.com account, and a GPS device that supports field notes. Let's get started. From within GSAC, select the geocaching.com menu item. From there, select the Publish Logs menu option. This will bring you to the Publish Log screen. This screen shows you all of your pending logs that can be published to geocaching.com. From here, you can import logs, edit logs, create templates to apply to your logs, and publish all or selected logs from the list. In this tutorial, we are going to import six logs from a Garmin Oregon GPS that contains a field note file. To import your field notes into the Publish Logs window, simply right-click anywhere in the window and choose Fetch from File. You will then be prompted to navigate to the folder on your GPS device that contains the field note file. On Garmin GPS units, this is usually located in the Garmin folder. and is named geocache underscore visits dot text. Be aware that unless you go into the settings tab and change it, GSAC will automatically delete your field notes file after it has been imported. Once the file has been imported, all of the logs found in the field note file will be displayed in the publish logs window. GSAC automatically determines the type of log based on the information in the field note. When you imported your logs, GSAC automatically added the text for each of the logs using a template for each type of log. The template contains the actual text that will appear in your log entry on geocaching.com. To change the default text for each type of log, click on the Templates button to view the template screen. From here, you can pick the type of log you want to change from the drop-down list and then change the default text of the log. When you have completed making your changes, simply click the OK button. Changes to the templates do not get automatically applied to all of the logs you have imported. To apply these changes, simply select all of the logs in the window, right click, and then choose Reapply Templates This will apply the default log text in your new templates to all of your logs. In many cases, you may not want to use the same text for each of your logs. By simply right-clicking on any log, you can choose Edit, and the Log Edit window will open. From this window, you can make any edits to the log you want, including changes to the text, the type of log, and even in adding smileys for flare. You can also use the Previous and Next buttons to switch between different logs that you have imported. If you have any trackables you wish to drop or visit to a cache using your log, you can click on the Trackables button and make those edits there. Once you have made all of the changes you want to your logs, simply click OK and those changes will be saved. When you are ready to publish your logs, you simply select either the Publish Selected or Publish All buttons, and GSAC will prompt you to confirm your publishing request. Once you click Yes, GSAC will cycle through each of the log entries in your import list and post them to geocaching.com. Depending on the size of your import list, this may take a while. When GSAC is finished publishing your logs, you will receive a prompt with a confirmation of how many logs were actually published and if there were any errors. For more videos, tutorials, and information about geocaching, visit us online at www.cacheupnb.com.